hey guys what's up so this is second video of jira tutorial and we will talk more about uh, the jira in this tutorial and uh, i have given a basic background in my first video and this is my second video so please watch my first video so that you will understand uh, about the jira okay now let me start with the jira second board uh, second video sorry before to start you guys can uh, ask me the questions on my Facebook page or you can mail me to my Gmail account and you guys can subscribe my channel so that you'll have access to all my videos and uh, the GitHub locations where you guys can get a source code. Apart from that, if you guys go here, I have a very, a very good playlist, right? Here you can learn the topic based on your requirement. One by one, you can learn the topic. Now let me start with the Jira second video. So last video I have shown you how we can create a story, how we can create a project how we can create a sprint now we have decided this two a story to be done now what we will do uh, when we start any task right so when you go to your boards now when you click on the boards so here you have team board that is the board which we have designed so click on the team board right because we have a team your project and the key name was team board so you come to this page when you come to this page, click on this. When you click on this, here you can see that the details will open. Reporter is my name, assign is my name. Now, since we started working on that, so what we can do is we have a lot of activity. You click on this and what we can do, we will go to the more actions and here we will do in progress, which means work has been started. Now, if you look at automatically from to do this uh, a story will move to in progress automatically. Now, let's say if this is done. So, what we can do again click on this when you click on this again here click on these three dots go to the more actions and here click on let's say done click on done. So, when you click on done it will come in the done. Now, if you go to your dashboard right so let's say uh, what we will do is just click on backlogs okay if you click on backlogs you see here in this sprint one one ticket closed you can see here cross mark which means the ticket is closed right now in the second story what we will do you click on the second story in the second story we thought that one developer cannot finish this story like in one developer cannot finish this story in the two weeks so click on this okay click on these dot buttons go to here create subtask so in this story you can create multiple subtasks so click on create subtask and here you write design uh, it's a debit card right so we will write design debit card integration so i will not write complete a story name because we are creating a subtask so i'll just write design debit card let's say uh, instead of debit card so we'll write design debit card for hdfc so just one point like design for one bank we are creating one sub story and here i will assign to myself because I don't have any configured name here. If you have, you can select here Ram, Mohan, Sam. You can select here in the assignee. Like you are going to assign that person. So that person will work on that. And the moment you will assign here, the mail will go to that person. The Jira will take care of that. Jira has the mail configuration. So mail will go to that particular person. So here I will just click on assign to me and I'll click on create. So what we did, we created one subtask. Okay. I created one subtask. Now we can create multiple subtasks. Again, if you want to create one more subtask, again click on that, create subtask, and you can give any name. So let's say uh, create or design uh, whatever debit card we have. Let's say I'll write SBI. Okay. In your company project, it will be subtask. So when you are working for the debit card every bank will have different different combinations right so we are saying that one person will work on that other persons will work on some other subtask so why we have created a subtask because we thought that 
one person cannot achieve this now if you want to see how this will look like right so what we will do is click on that uh, we'll go to the active sprints in this active sprints now you can see that there is two more story got added two more sub tasks got added if you look at the uh, this is your main task and this is your sub task so if you want to see your task so we click on that what we can do we can click on this directly when here when you click on that see that's how it will look like so this is your main task design debit card integrations inside that you have two sub tasks this sub task right and here in the comment you can write that so you can write that i am working on this task and click on add so when you write and when you click on add your comment will get added here again you can add more comments so i am done with coding part okay so i am done with coding part so coding is done click on add so this comment will get added now what is the purpose of this comment so the purpose of this comment is whatever comment you will add here right and every task you create you can add a watcher so you can add the watchers who is the watchers so when you click on this you can keep the watchers like how many watchers you want to keep to do that what you have to do when you click on this watcher list one window will open there you can keep your manager name your team lead name your director name you can keep all the name here right so comma separated it will be comma separated here it will not open because it is not configured in my system it will be comma separated here you can add the watcher so whenever you add any comments this comments will automatically mail will go to all the watchers so all whatever watchers you have here automatically mail will go now if you want to write the descriptions of this you can write you can click here and you can write the descriptions so what i will do i will copy this and i will go to descriptions and i'll attach the same things just click on this okay so uh, descriptions will get added this is the descriptions of this story but descriptions usually will be four five lines like what is the descriptions you want to give this is your sub task which we have created and this is the comment whatever comment we can write now let's say i want to start this task so i'll click on in progress when i say in progress means work has been started if you look at here now it is saying that in progress so work is started now i want to close this so when i will click on done so what happens this work is finished this work is finished if you look at here this work is finished and this is two sub task now when you click on the sub task this sub task will not be done this is like to do okay so usually you should not close first main ticket so usually the standard practice is you should not close this first okay so again click on in progress right first what you need to do first you need to create finish the sub task okay so to finish the sub task here you click on that and here you have in progress so click on in progress so which means your sub task is in you can see that a status is changing to in progress right so first you need to finish the sub task then only you can create uh, i mean close the main ticket okay this is your main story now again the second ticket click on that you can see here the details you can write the details you can write the comment you can add the watchers like i mean what is the right recipient for that like whom you want to know this informations right so whatever comment you will write that person will receive a notification email okay now you just do click on done so like this story is done and you can write that here i have you can write a comment here i have designed and tested the code okay click on add so this comment will go to the particular person okay that's how we work on the story now what we will do uh, we will go back and one is done one is in progress okay and this is also in progress right so only one sub task has been done now what you do 
you go to your sprint click on this active sprint when you come here you can see that this two is closed one you can see here in progress and this is like to do like it still has not started now two weeks got over in this two weeks got over you come and click on complete sprint when you click on complete sprint here one issue was done and one issue was incomplete why it is saying that one issue was done one issue is incomplete if you look at here two issue is complete still it is saying that only one complete because in jira if one story the main story if let's say it has a two sub task okay in jira if this main story has two sub task and if one is done and one is in progress which means this will not consider as a done because this sub task comes under this main task okay so for this task there was two sub task only one is done and one is not done which means this story is still not done so it will not be considered as a done that is the reason when you click on complete here so i'll go to click on active sprint click on complete sprint you can see that one issue done one complete so it is asking you do you want to move this to the backlog right yes because the sprint is over we have to move to the backlog click on complete so automatically this item will get moved to the backlog okay now uh, if you look at here automatically you can see the report here when you click on the report you can see here report report will tell you uh, there was one um, this story this story is done this story the second story is in progress okay so you can see that your second debit card story is in progress net banking is done so that's how you can see the report also again if you click on backlog now when you click on backlog you can see that two items is in backlog credit card debit card both are in backlog now what we'll do we'll create a sprint so when we create a sprint a sprint 2 so now we have two item backlog in the sprint one so what we'll do we'll, we'll do a right click and uh, instead of yeah click on send to a sprint 2 it will go to the sprint 2 this also will send to the sprint 2 now both will come in the sprint 2 okay now again i will do a, a start a sprint and a sprint will start and i will click on a start so a sprint got a started now so uh, what we have one is done one sub task was done this is in progress so just what we can do drag and drop okay if the drag and drop is not working we can go here we can go to the more actions and click on done okay so two task is done when this two task is done click on update okay when this two task is done now if you go to this task uh, team 4 if you go now everything will be done you go inside the team 4 see this is done and this both the task is done so this story is now done now if you go to the active sprint uh, how many storage is pending now only one is pending which is nothing but credit card so this also what we can do click on here when you click on here so you click on this team 2 okay and you go and click on in progress either you click here in progress or uh, what you can do you can do go to the active sprint here and after going to the active sprint here itself you click on this ticket and you go to this three dotted line and you can you know uh, do a more actions so you click and mo uh, more actions and you can make it done so this sprint is done now this sprint is done i will do see here it is saying that 10 days remaining so since i am showing you through video so i am doing every everything in one day but it is saying that 10 days remaining now click on complete sprint when you click on complete sprint see two issue was done here you are not getting backlog message because there is no backlog in this sprint we have finished everything so click on complete right when you click on complete you can see that a sprint report this two story done done priority was medium medium so that's how we do a sprint planning that's how we make a backlog that's how we design a feature a story and that's how we make it first in progress done we write the comment we add the watchers right right so that's how you know the sprint works in the agile uh, methodology right now in the next video i will talk about how to create a issue and how to work on that so thank you guys thank you for watching this hope you like this video and hope you learn a lot of concept out of it and hope you can tell same thing in the interview Thank you guys. Thank you once again. Like my video and subscribe my YouTube channel.